Um, I think, you know, if, if Romney's biggest problem was dealing with the Democrats in the Massachusetts legislature, a President Romney would have a big problem dealing with conservative Republicans, particularly in the House of Representatives. Uh, it's interesting to me that we talk about the, the uh, increased partisanship in this country. I think we're somehow using the wrong term because the parties themselves have actually less clout as organizations, whether it's the National Republican Party, National Democratic Party, or the caucuses of the two parties than they have in the past. They're increasingly driven by their members who are driven by ideological interest groups to a substantial extent. Uh, I believe that that is true on, in the Democratic Party as well as the Republican Party. It's more evident because we have a Democratic president that the Republicans can cheerfully oppose. I think if the shoe were on the other foot, you'd find the ideological uh, dynamics within the Democratic Party pretty apparent too. But if, if Romney wins and has to deal with the Republican Congress, he's going to have a difficult time assembling a majority, particularly in the House, uh, that, comp that can compromise enough to get something through the Senate. Uh, I think he can do that. I think I, I was really interested in hearing the comments about his tenure as governor, but uh, I think that Romney will be pretty hands-on when it comes to policy. One of the things I have always liked about him is, is that he really drills down and learns the issues himself. I, I was uh, his policy director four years ago. I was much more involved in that campaign. And we started talking about health care and things like that. I was amazed. He had to know more about that health care program than anybody in the legislature or than any of his own staff. And that's a good place for a president to start who has to deal with a Congress that may be somewhat difficult.